What's going on, y'all? Jimmy Macworm. It's time for Bone Tomahawk. This stars Kurt Russell, who I'm in love with. Don't judge me. And number two, it's a Western, which I also love. I see no problems. Let's get to it. Oh! You're gonna have to get up there in them rocks and hide. That's a hell of an open. What the fuck? I'm sitting in some poor bastard's throat. 60 major arteries in neck is funnier than shit me. That's a real musical gust. And it's ominous. This is not the time for womanly imaginings. David Arquette in a Western is something I never thought I'd see. Maybe we shouldn't be going someplace that looks like a burial ground. Oh, to a bunch of godless savages. Ain't no concern of a civilized man. That is perfect. <laughs> Scratch his balls with the gun. Listen clear. We are coming through here, like it or not. Oh! oh. Awesome. Sign me up. Can you just pull? And he took. Some luggage and he threw it in a hole. He covered it up. He went to town. Is that Arquette? What's your name? Buddy. <laughs> Took a moment to recall that, didn't I? <laughs> Who'd you steal those clothes from? I ain't stole nothing. Why are you pretty angry for a guy named Buddy? Like I just told you, I ain't got no weapon. Because you put him in that hole, you do. This is awesome in everything. Whenever I was alone, I would read it and I would feel better. Please. I can't think of a polite way out of this. <laughs> nice. What time is it? No, not nice. It could be off. You know what I mean. Jesus, you're a creep. I need to extract a bullet. Mr. Bruder shall escort me. Make any flirtatious remarks in my wife's presence, I'll be a reckoning. I'll behave, cowboy. Please keep your leg elevated. <laughs> Please let my husband and I have to wait up. I need to stay and monitor the patient's fever after the surgery. Yes, ma'am. Something awful gonna happen to her. They killed that way. Oh, she's definitely dead. She's so fucking dead. And now, before this movie's out, she gone. Mr. Wallington? Is that you? Ooh. Shit! <sighs> you knew that was coming. That's a shame. There was nobody in there. Nobody. Not even in the jail cell. Sir, completely empty. Oh, shit. Go up the street, fetch checker, and meet me in front of the stable. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. What happened? My guess would be, um, Jesus. Let's get to the jail. I don't have a guess now to think about it. You would think that somebody sprung Buddy out of the prison, but uh, I had a feeling they want to kill him. Whoever sprung him. Like he has an answer for some crime. Take us to them. I won't, because you're an Indian. Because I don't want to get killed. You're afraid of your own kind? They're not my kind. They're a spoiled bloodline of inbred animals that rape and eat their own mothers. What are they? Why was my husband, the mayor, not informed of this situation immediately. Uh, well, the sheriff, he told me to, to go get him, but I'm old and I forgot. You expect me to believe that? I'm open. <laughs> I've killed more Indians than everyone here put together. Well, it's an ugly boast. 
It isn't a boast, but a fact. Is that for, it took me forever! Is that Jack? It looks like Jack for Lost! I got the dynamite. How many? Ah, uh, six. Now that is not a handsome horse. I don't think I've seen Jack in anything that wasn't lost. Matthew... I don't know his fucking name. I'm pretty sure it's Matthew though. No! Matthew Fox? Sounds right. Sheriff Hunt has a wife. So does Mr. O'Dwyer. And you're a widower. Yeah. What has that got to do with anything? Smart men don't get married. Well, <laughs> a night old man. A night. He was not fucking around. I don't think it is. What do you see? Well, a snake in a tree. What kind? Deceased. <laughs> you got any companeros? I have an associate. Tell him to strike a match. Deputy, hold. Explain yourself. There are any questions. Mm. Mr. Ruger, just educated two Mexicans on the meaning of manifest destiny. <laughs> they deserve it. We're breaking camp. Oh. Oh, you, you go back to sleep. I'll wake you. Unless you want to eat dinner. Yeah, we saved a little boy. Gotta be honest, I think Brood is my favorite character. Not because of Jack, he's just fantastic. We talks, we walks, we acts. I'm not sure he's a good guy, but he's my favorite character. You shouldn't have shot those Mexicans. You hear me, Brooder? It's wrong. Go to sleep, old timer. One of them's wearing a crucifix. Then Jesus should have helped them. You shouldn't call for the Lord's attention, right? Well, he was wrong to do it. Yes. <sighs> this should have helped him. <laughs> oh, Brute is an animal. Oh! Looks like she resisted. Oh, shit. When you pack, don't forget a medicine kit. How the fuck's he gonna make this fucking walk? That in no way affects the endeavors of your mouth. Well, would you prefer the sound of trudging footsteps and men breathing? That makes it worse. Ah, shit! Just keep on, I'll catch up. You sure? Don't have a choice. It's marked the route before stones every so often. We will. His sound design is outrageous. That should sound painful. I'm really hoping his wife's okay. If he's going through all this. But I sincerely doubt it. All after at your own pace. We get there before you catch up. I try to refrain from flirting with Mrs. O'Dwyer. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fucking idiot. And now I'm out here risking my life for the both of you. Perhaps that entitles me to an occasional innuendo. Well, it doesn't. She is my whole everything, and those savages have got her. 
Remove yourself. Damnation. I'm a brutal on this. Overreacting. I get it. But come on. God. Every second we delay, somebody throw a punch and hurt myself. Fuck, idiot. You unearthed my medical kit. <laughs> yeah, man. I know. You can't go anywhere on that leg. It needs to be operated on. Mr. O'Dwyer. Look at it. Said it, all right. The tincture of hell. This is gonna penetrate. <laughs> oh. Oh, I wish I had this with me when I went to the rodeo. <laughs> the clarity is the very alleys. Uh, yeah, I see a few of them. Uh, all looks the same. Uh, Man, Sheriff Hunt, try the German. <laughs> Backup deputy is hilarious. <sighs> this is intense. There's nothing but walking. There's nothing but walking in some movie. What's the signal? Bruce's about to die. I'm not here for this. You see any activity in there? Oh, shit! Tie this up. That was fucking horrific. It was so fast. I need to repeat her. Damn! The answer to your question is 116. Jesus. Aww. Oh, shit! He's dead. They're not dead. They're being carried to wherever the fuck. Punch! Harder! Harder, old man! Ah! Shit! You see, my possessions back in Michigan. Most of that stuff belonging to my brothers. I'll send it. What in the fuck? That might be the most horrific death I've ever seen. True then. Ever. It's the fucking cow, man. Eh? Fuck me. God damn. You gotta taste better than people. <laughs> damn nation. Is that three?
suck is so scary. Nice. Not nice. Sure. Jesus. Jim. Fuck. Doctor. There's one in there with a. Jesus. Better save Arthur's fucking life if he comes in here. Last time, Sharp was a super soldier. I'm not doing all that, but all right. Bone Tomahawk, where to begin? What's up with this? I really, really, really liked that movie. Don't know if I can quite go to love, but I really, really liked it. Kurt Russell is fantastic in everything I've seen him in. He might have been garbage some other stuff, but everything I've seen him in was splendid. For the cannibals, this kind of felt like a um, a spiritual uh, sequel to um, Tombstone. Kurt Russell. Um, Matthew Fox's character felt like it could have been fucking Doc Holliday at some point. I just really enjoyed it. Um, a little long. A little long in the tooth. Could be plotting at times. I felt like I probably could have cut 15, 20 minutes of this and not missed the thing. But it did help to kind of, first of all, you feel fucking, um, fuck is his name? Uh, you really feel Arthur's pain. Um. <laughs> how hard it is to walk, how hard it is to crawl, how hard it is to just sit there, the exhaustion, you gotta just go to sleep at certain points. That was great. Um, and then when shit popped off, shit popped off. Uh, too much? Maybe too much. The, uh, the death scenes in this are the most graphic, non-horror death scenes I've ever seen. It's so jarring. What was his name, Nix? Nix's death scene in particular was fucking awful. The sheriff has his own, though he doesn't die right then and there. Ugh. And the fact that the movie opens with somebody in his throat slit, and that is probably the nicest death anybody gets. I... I... That was... Fucking... Rough. Patrick Wilson is getting enough credit. I ain't even giving no credit in this because he's. I'm not gonna remember him. When I, we asked him about the movie, I'm gonna remember uh, Matthew Fox, uh, Bruder, and I'm gonna remember Kurt Russell. And then, you know what? I might remember um, Backup Deputy, uh, Richard Jenkins. I forget who fucking what his name was in the thing. But I might remember fucking Backup Deputy before I remember fucking One Lake Patrick. I'm sorry, sir. Arthur, you were great, but I. It was a really well casted movie. And Lily Simmons, she was great too. 
I love doing Banshee. This was distinctly different. Not a piece of garbage at all. Wow. That was really good. I really enjoyed that. I really fucking enjoyed that. Anyway. Uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.